This is an inverter for a three-phase compressor. It's a VCC3 inverter. I replaced, it was defective, the compressor would not turn on. And I was able to repair it by replacing these uh, capacitors, six electrolytic capacitors. The ones I replaced were surface mount, these six right here. And all of them were 33 microfarad at 25 volts. And they're the same as a regular uh, through hole electrolytic capacitor. Uh, they test the same, it's just the mounting is different. Now, the real trick was, is this thing gave me problems, but uh, the real trick was actually the, uh, this compound here, uh, and I'm gonna turn this over, you see right here, it will stick. So if you try to tear this, uh, take it apart, then this that compound wants to stick to these components and i've had uh, cases where the components actually rip out along with um, that compound so <laughs> i had to find a way to protect the board so that i could work on it um, now this is not a general field repair this is just uh, a repair that i did to to, to prove that yes uh, they can be repaired and how I solved that issue was I used a oven and I set it to uh, warm, like about right there, this is about 200 degrees, for 30 minutes. And that was able to warm that compound up so that I could take it apart safely. So I'm gonna show you how I take these, I'm gonna show you how to test those uh, as well as how to replace them. So these six over here are the uh, capacitors that I replaced. And I'm just gonna show you on the meter here, higher is better. Uh, we're at uh, 33 microfarads, so we should be in the middle um, on, on these. You can see how just the bottom one is blinking. It's not even registering, there's a capacitor there. And I've already checked all of them. They just, one of them I think beeped, but still wouldn't get above the over LED. Now I'm gonna, this one is a brand new 33 microfarad, 25 volt, which is the same um, rating as these guys over here. I'll show you what it should look like. There we go, so even higher than expected. It's, that's a, a good quality capacitor right there. And I'm gonna also show you how to, how I <laughs> figured out a way to um, take these out without damaging the board. It was, because these are surface mount, they're a lot more susceptible uh, to overheating. And so what was happening was, is I was using a regular iron with a, a fine tip, but it was when I would pull one side up, it would damage the other pad and that's why I was having problems. So I got this uh, tweezer um, soldering iron and I'll just go ahead and take one out here. So you just wanna go on either side. Just, you know, hold it there for a good few seconds. You kinda of wanna wiggle it back and forth to, uh, to see when the, the solder's all melted and eventually it'll just kinda come up on you. What you can do also is just apply a little bit of solder to the outside. There we go. You can see the sack right here. Sorry, right there and right there, how the pad is fine. And now you can just apply a little solder, cut a, a regular electrolytic capacitor, one of these guys, cut the leads, and then just solder it in actually pretty easily. I did try soldering a uh, new um, surface mount, but I found it very difficult uh, to do. It's really not made to be soldered. Um, so I, I just found it easier to, to 
use the uh, standard um, electrolytic capacitors. Uh, the standard electrolytic capacitors that you see here, here and here. So there's a total of six. There's another one, this one right here, which is 220 microfarad um, at, I think, 35 volts. Um, I may have to look that up. But uh, on this one, I tested it, and it tested good. And so I didn't replace it. But this is my inverter tester circuit. Uh, from the other video, so I'm just going to plug it straight into the power 120 volts and there it goes All right, so even though on every one that I've opened so far I found all these um, 33 microfarad at 25 volt capacitors to be defective and uh, that's not the only uh, way that this inverter can go bad. I, on one of the ones I've seen, uh, the electrolytic, one of these brute force electrolytic caps had busted from the bottom and leaked electrolytic fluid all over the cover. And on uh, that one also, the second one, even though it didn't leak, it also tested, tested bad. So this is not gonna be every repair necessarily, but uh, this could be the repair needed it would probably take an hour i'd say um to do this repair uh you have to be be careful and you have to have two different soldering irons um one is your standard soldering iron the other is the tweezers so it'd be a difficult repair in the uh in the field especially with the the, the part cost i mean they're 120 dollars for the the basic uh, inverter from GE so it's really in my opinion not worth the trouble uh, to repair these uh, in the field but that's um, but we do know that they can be repaired so even though I don't recommend it as a field repair what you can do is uh, fix one of these up uh, put it back in its case and then make the uh, compressor tester um, circuit and then you can have your own uh, uh, inverter compressor tester. So that would be a good use for it. And that's what I'm actually going to use this one for. So, all right. Well, that was it. Hope you enjoyed the video. And we'll see you next time.